Hey, nice work with that rescue. What's happening? Meeting on the mound. Some of our friends want to quit early. Okay, listen up. This isn't worth killing for. Sure as hell isn't worth dying for. We're young. We should be out there drinking and fucking and skipping school. Woo! Our parents and grandparents already stole our future. Why should we give a shit? That's what I used to think. And then one day, Admiral Benitez walked into my classroom with a gun. She called on your name, you came to the front. One by one. Alvarez. Bermudez. Carrillo. The Admiral read their crimes. Protesting, handing out pamphlets, liking a Clara Garcia post. Fernandez, Jimenez, Peña. I learned a lesson on my last day at school. You can either be on the right side of history or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. Wise words, young Guerrilla. La Morale taking new members? Depends. What? Is there an age limit? I will plead for La Morale. If you take me. Welcome to the war, viejo. <laughs> so how do we take out the Admiral? Push-ups are the first step to victory. The Grand Hotel, Danny. That's the key. I got a convoy I like to make friends with. No. We need Carlito. Push-ups never lie. You just cut your hand open. You sure doing push-ups was such a good idea? What can I say? Your little speech puffed me up. See, si! The part where you put the gun to your head and pull the trigger? That was crazy! I loved it! <laughs> Danny needs to take care of our little problem at the hotel. Well, why didn't you say so? All we need is Carlito. And the hotel is as good as... I like these young guerrillas. They remind me of, well, me. Only smaller. And it's going to take a lot more than a basement full of little me's to... Castillo has many bullets. But we will have Carlito. And Carlito only needs one. follow up on this. What do you know? Danny, these fascists have set up another checkpoint. Why don't you go and show them what freedom looks like? Gracias. I wonder if that place even has records of Castillo's war crimes. El Tigre. I'm at the museum. So am I. If you want to see photographs of us when we were young and dumb, put your gun away and walk in like a tourista. That 
camera needs to go. An alarm. Hey, holster that weapon. Don't be no more of it. I got the gun. You take the wheel. Get us out of here. Carlitos busted. I can't exactly carry him out of here. He just needs a little love. You can fix him. Hola, Danny. It's Dr. Davalos. Help. I just thought I would check in. Your timing sucks. Some stress. Is that gunfire? Yes. Yes, it is. Focus your energy, Danny. Never give up! Baby Tigre, let's go! Fix up Carlito and blast open the gate! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
So you came! What the fuck is he doing here? I wanted him to see Carlito for himself. <laughs> Mi compay. How many years since you've been down this mountain? Too many. Carlito and I, we have a lot of good memories. Time to make some new ones. You should join us, hermano. War is over. When we are all free. <laughs> hey, come. Come on, it's gonna be good. I'm good. Come on. War is over when we are all free. Since when did you start quoting Lobo? When I finally saw past my own bullshit, and all that remained was the truth. <laughs> Lobo did have a way of cutting through bullshit. I wish he was here now. He'd be so happy to see us and Carlito. Yeah, happy to see you and Carlito, me. Enough of that nonsense. What's the hold up? We gotta make a move on the convoy. Hola. Don't know about you, but I fucking love hearing convoys. I can't lose another chameleon. Rest a little. You need us? Does the word knuckleball mean anything to you? It sure does. You want us at the pass, right? Si. I'll meet you there. You're the one who saved our people on that cargo ship, no? <laughs> That's me. My cousin was one of them. Muchas gracias. De nada. Let's go get this convoy. I'm not finished. You look like... La Moral. Entonces... De nada. Let's go get this convoy. I'll get my mortar. Mortar time, compay! What's up? When I say the word knuckleball, what's that remind you of? Setting up an ambush at the pass. Fucking up the convoy. Taking whatever they're carrying. I'm fighting with Honron. Carajo. You're ready. 
I have been waiting to get the go-ahead for months. Vámonos, guerrilla. I've been waiting to use my rocket launcher. RPG is locked and loaded. Vuelta. Drop the coconuts. Knuckleball is a go. Finga. I thought this day would never come. We need to piss off Benitez and spread out her forces. Music to my ears, guerrilla. See you at the pass. I'll bring the road spikes. Perfecto. We get to use them.
Hope, head open. <gasps> Jackpot. This is going to help a montón. I heard you hit that convoy. See, si. on Ron's heading your way with the cash. Good job, Danny. Any battle we get will go a long way in this fight. Admiral Benitez has increased patrols now, so watch the roads. Okay. Keep that thing away from. Mierda. I heard you and Carlito did some renovation. Attention, inhabitants of Conchita. This is a reminder that curfew will be in effect tonight. It is strongly urged that you respect this safety measure established by your government. Hey, I'm driving up to the hotel. I can sneak you past the guards. Hop in. Huh? Oh, she! You're doing this mission? Hell yeah. I hate dentists. Me too. They say when you're in her chair, you either give up information or your life. Or Carso, both. come here. Then I'm going to have to find Hugo quickly. Our scouts are already in position and ready to help. You heard Yelena earlier. That was the voice we needed. Sometimes it's hard to tell if we're winning or losing, you know? We're going to win this thing. I promise you that. Our dentists were always late. Not this one. Why do they always... Which part of fuck you? 
Medics on duty. Elena, the dentist is dead. La morale is safe. For now. <sighs> That's fucking great news, Danny. Oh, and I'm working on a gift for you. A gift? The hotel. I'm taking it. They have told you the last oh, game. You sure you're not La Morale, Danny? I'm just saying. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war. At least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. Yeah. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. They're few, we are many. You hear that? And... Libertards? This means chica. She means business. And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or a business interests is not a true Yaran. My strategy... And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? Right. No prea capas por nada. That's a cut. I gotta go. Señor Presidente. Admiral, so lovely to hear your voice. If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support from Libertad and the Legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. Handpicked you out of the Academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Si, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente. Higher! I want them higher!
Would you do me a favor? Oye, comadre. Buenas. All good out here. Those guerrillas need help.
Hey, Danny, what did one guerrilla say to the other? Go use the fucking workbench. <laughs>